you know, the same with the pelvic exam and what's involved? That's an excellent question because a lot of people believe that the minute a, a pelvic exam is done, a pap smear was performed. A pap smear is just one of the tests that we can perform during a pelvic exam. A pap smear is a screening test for cervical cancer. During the pelvic exam, what we're trying to do is look on the outside first, then we put the speculum in to look at the internal organ, the, the cervix, the mouth of the uterus. During that time, we can do a pap smear, we might not. We can check for gonorrhea and chlamydia, we might not. Or we can just be taking a look at the cervix to see if there, if there are any problems. Um, we can also check for vaginitis, which is common. We can check for yeast, we can check for bacterial vaginosis, we can check for trichomoniasis. Then we take out the speculum and we insert our fingers in to be able to feel the uterus and the um, ovaries or the adnexa. So I'm glad you asked that question because it's very confusing. I have patients that come all the time, well, yeah, they, yes, they did a, pelvic, a pap smear in the ER. And it's very rare, it's a very um, a rare times that we actually do a pap smear in the emergency room. So thank you. So the importance of knowing what's going on a woman should ask her physician questions. Glad you mentioned that. So when someone does a pelvic exam, you need to ask, what did you do? What test did you perform? And the other question you need to ask is, when can I expect the results? We do not believe, and you should not believe, that no news is good news. If you have somebody that performs a test, you need to find out the results. And usually the physician should tell you, please, um, you should hear from us in about one to two weeks. And if you haven't heard from us, please give us a call to find out the results. Because we're not perfect. We can lose the test. And, you know, it might come back abnormal and be stuck somewhere. You know, you have to take responsibility. It's as a partnership, as we mentioned before.